features some like very like skinny Euro dudes making everything look really, really trendy. Hey guys, it's Megan Collins from Style Girlfriend back for another episode of Ask Style Girlfriend. Today, Chris is asking about good stores for affordable basics, right? Great question. I totally understand why you would want that. Like, we can't all afford to, I don't know, be in designer head to toe everything. Some of us can't be in designer head to toe anything. So, I'm with you, Chris. Trust me. Um, and I have some great tips for you. Uh, just to start off, you know, if we're talking work basics, dress shirts, uh, dress pants, things that are a little bit more pulled together, maybe, you know, some sweaters uh, in a finer gauge, I would start at Zara. Uh, my issue with Zara is that I think their their site, like their e-com site, is not, not like the best. It, it definitely features some like very like skinny Euro dudes making everything look really, really trendy. Uh, but it's not, I swear, you know, it's um, Zara's the kind of place where like when you wear the thing you have from Zara, everyone's like, where did you get that? And then you're like, Zara, and they're like, oh my god. So that's why you want to go to Zara. But you do kind of have to go to the store to really get a feel for what it is that you're looking at and what it is that you're shopping for. So check out Zara for work basics. As for weekend wear, um, you know, more basic like tops and tees and things like that, I actually really like Alternative Apparel, which has just like great cotton everything um, with like, a little bit of stretch. Like it's kind of, you know, it's that stuff that it's not boxy, it doesn't, but it's also not skin tight. Uh, and I think that's like a really nice, happy medium. And then of course, Uniqlo. I think Uniqlo is just such a great sort of one-stop shop for, again, things like tees, socks, underwear. Um, you know, nothing flashy, nothing trendy, but if you need something that is just sort of going to seamlessly blend into your existing wardrobe, Uniqlo is a great, great place for it. Uh, one other place I wanted to mention, and it's because a friend of mine just constantly swears up and down by it for his work clothes, and he's in he, um, he's in construction. He like leads the construction team. I don't know what that word like a like a manager of a like he doesn't wear the hard hat, but like the, his people do. You know what I'm saying? He goes to Old Navy for polos and for chinos and for like belts, things like that, because he says, Megan, like all my stuff is just gonna get kind of beat up pretty quickly, and I want to make sure that it's something that's affordable. And look, I want it to wash up until it does fall apart. Um, and so he goes, oh, maybe, and he swears by it. And honestly, like, great e-com site, so it's easy to shop online if you don't want to go into the store. But also, there's stores everywhere, so if you want to check it out, pop in, check out the fit. Honestly, things are slimmer than they used to be there. Um, and yeah, everything's really affordable, so check them out. As for other, like, affordable basics, um, I would say for shoes, for coats, for things like that, I don't even really want to go into something that's affordable because I think that it really is sort of an investment area where you want to be spending a little bit more. Um, so we'll cover that in another video, but for now, here, you know, those are the spots where you can go to sort of get the, the everyday work and weekend wear that you don't want to spend a ton of money on. Send your questions our way, tweet at us, style GF, find us on stylegirlfriend.com, and we will hopefully answer your questions soon. Thank you guys so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. I mean, any press is good for us, and actually even being in his league, 